Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Anne with our final story time for December and 2020. Uh, we're going to do stories about snow people. And as you can see, I've been out on this frozen tundra, working really hard making the snowman for you guys. I hope you like it. Um, now I'm just trying to figure out how to get off this frozen tundra back to the library. But while I'm thinking about it, uh, we'll read some of our favorite snowman stories. And then uh, we'll see you again in 2021. And uh, don't forget, any books we read, count them for the thousand books for kindergarten if you're doing that. Come in, get some story, uh, some crafts from the craft cart, and just hang out and say hi. Come in and say hi to us, okay? And we're looking forward to a great year of 2021. But until then, I'm gonna do some, like I said, snowman stories. Um, and we just had some snow. I don't know if you had a chance to make some snowmen or snow people, but um, if you haven't, I'm sure we'll have some more snow during the year, and maybe you can get some ideas on what kind of snowman you're gonna make. Uh, and then one, one of the books we're gonna read has really good ideas on how to make crafty snowman like using crafts and like supplies you have at home so that's gonna be fun but first we're gonna read this is a new one to me Sneezy the Snowman by Maureen Wright and illustrated by Stephen Gilpin and I really like this one it's really funny and it goes like this Sneezy the Snowman shivered brr it's cold it's cold out here that's for sure I'll ne I need a drink to warm up so he drank cocoa from a cup he said with a smile, I like this a lot. And then right there, believe it or not, he melted from drinking something too hot. The children cried out, what should we do? A voice from the puddle said, make me brand new. Oh my goodness. They rebuilt Sneezy as snowflakes flew, a cold winter wind swirled and blew. The snowman sneezed a gigantic, achoo! I'm sneezing and freezing and shivering too. A little girl said, then let's share. I have something you can wear. Here's my hat to put on your head. You look awesome, the children said. The snowman blinked his coal black eyes. The stocking cap was a nice surprise. But Sneezy the snowman shivered, brrr, it's cold out here, that's for sure. I'm freezing every minute. I'll find a hot tub and sit right in it. He found one and smiled. I like this a lot. And then right there, believe it or not, he melted from sitting in water too hot. The children cried out, what should we do? A voice from the hot tub said, make me brand new. They rebuilt Sneezy as snowflakes flew. A cold winter wind swirled and blew. I'm sorry, I just have to point out. I just realized that the Cardinals there are in every picture. They have little, like one has a little scuba gear on and the other one has a little, is in a little inner tube in the hot tub. So, okay, back to the story. The snowman sneezed a gigantic achoo. I'm sneezing and freezing and shivering too. A little boy said, then let's share. I have something you can wear. Here's my scarf that's red and blue. I think it would look great on you. What do you think? Think it looks gonna look great on him? The snowman blinked his coal black eyes. The colorful scarf was a nice surprise. It went very well with the long pink hat. The children all said, how about that? But Sneezy the snowman shivered, brrr, it's cold out here, that's for sure. I need to feel some warmth in me. There's a campfire by that tree. Oh, what do you think's gonna happen? He said with a smile, I like this a lot. And then right there, believe it or not, he melted from standing beside something hot. The children cried out, what should we do? A voice from the puddle said, make me brand new. They rebuilt Sneezy as snowflakes flew, a cold winter wind swirled and blew. The snowman sneezed a gigantic, achoo! I'm sneezing and freezing and shivering too. The little girl said, then let's share. I have something you can wear. Here's my coat, the perfect fit. I know that you'll look good in it. The snowman blinked his coal black eyes. The bright orange coat was a nice surprise. It went very well with the scarf and hat. The children all said, how about that? But you know what makes it? She looks cold now. <laughs> Let's see what happens. But Sneezy said, Woo, I'm way too hot. I'll take off all the new clothes I've got. He's feeling what you see, like, oh, it's too hot. The children yelled, No, that's not the way. Listen to what we have to say. Buy something cold at the ice cream store. Here, have two scoops or three or four. So they're going to the ice cream store. Sneezy ate ice cream seven scoops high. This is great, the snowman cried. I'm not too cold and I'm not too hot and I'm wearing clothes I like a lot. Then after eating every bite, he said, at last, I feel just right. And that's the story of Sneezy the Snowman. Wow.
You know, so if you ever feel like that, you're like, it's too hot, and then again, it's too cold, and then it's too hot. So I'm glad Smoothie found the, the right solution. Now have some ice cream. That's always the right solution. Have some ice cream and relax. That's a good idea. And now we're going to read another great one by Lois Eller. It's called Snowballs. And Lois Eller, I love her artwork because she uses all, like, found objects and stuff she has in the house and makes these amazing pictures and collages. Now I'm going to see what she makes. And you know what? You can do that at home. Take some, uh, some of your art supplies and make your own snowmen. If you do, let us know how they turn out. And this is called, like I said, Snowballs by Lois Eller. Do you think birds know when it's going to snow? I do. The seeds we left out were almost gone. New snow would soon bury the rest. We've been waiting for a really big snow, saving good stuff in a sack. Finally, it was a perfect snowball day. The stuff they saved. I'm going like this. This is why I love this cool. This book turns like this way now. We rolled three snowballs and made a snow dad. And you see like different stuff like what, popcorn and popcorn kernels and like uh, material for a hat. She's used all kind of cool stuff for this collage. Added a snow mom. And a cool snow boy. Made a snow girl. And a round snow baby. Built our cat and to end the day, made our dog spot. What, what is that? What do you think they use for that, right? Can you see? Buttons, right? I guess you know what happened when the sun came out. Snow Dad's shrinking. Mom is mush. Boy's a blob. Girl is slush. Baby's melting. Cat's getting small. Dog is a puddle. So long, Snowball. And that's... And then she shows all the different materials she used to make all those things. Isn't that cool? And like I said, Make your own snowmen and snowwomen and snow babies, and then show us what you made, okay? And I'm gonna get you started because we have a craft you can make, and it's a snow person or snowman windsock. And what you do is you just take a piece of paper, I'll have all the supplies for you, and you make your own, and you can hang it up, and you can tell when it's getting windy out, right? Or put it in your room. It's really cool. I like this one. Okay, so everyone have a great end of December. We'll see you in the new year, and see you soon. Bye.